In this video, I'm going to show you how Hasura can give you instant GraphQL on an existing application that is live. Um, so I have a DigitalOcean VM on which I've deployed GitLab with Docker. So I have GitLab running and I have a Postgres database that GitLab uses which are running on this. We can check that out in a browser. So let's head to the IP and you can see that um, GitLab is live. I've also deployed the Hasura GraphQL engine with Docker. And so let's open up the console. It's running on port 8090. So Hasura's telling us that there's a bunch of tables that are there in the database, uh, which are GitLab's tables, but that aren't exposed over GraphQL. So I'm just going to add them and expose them over GraphQL. And so now all of these tables have been added. There's also a bunch of foreign keys that kind of specify relationships. And I'm just going to add all of them in one shot as well. So let's now make a few GraphQL queries and see what this looks like. So I'm going to make a query for users. And let's autocomplete to see what fields we have. We have ID, we have name, we have username. And let's make this query. So we have only the admin user right now. So let me register as a new user. And so I've registered as a new user. As soon as I've done this, let's see if we have more data on our GraphQL endpoint. Yep, we have another, um, so we have another user that's come up. Let's create a new project. And I'm just going to say my private project. So now I'd like to fetch the projects for every user as well in the GraphQL query. If I try the autocomplete, if I look at the relationships that were automatically created using the foreign keys, I see that there's no relationship that was created for projects using the creator ID. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add a relationship here. So I'm going to go to the users table. And in the users table, I'm going to add a new relationship, uh, which is an array relationship because every user has an array of projects. And I'm going to call that relationship projects. The relationship is defined by the projects creator ID. And the fact that the project's creator ID is equal to the user ID is what defines the project relationship. It's, in, it's important to note that when we added this relationship, this did not affect the underlying GitLab database. This metadata that was created by Hasura is managed by the GraphQL engine and does not affect GitLab or GitLab's operations at all. I can now head to Graphical and I can make a query to fetch the, the users, the ID, name, username, and now the projects as well. And for each project, let's fetch the ID and the name. Let's make this query. And you'll see that for the new user that we created, we now have a private project. So this is how Hasura gives you GraphQL instantly on top of an existing application which is live and which can be used in parallel to the GraphQL engine. To see how to integrate authentication so that the GraphQL queries that you're making are actually protected by access control rules that are integrated with GitLab's auth, do check out the next video.